I don't know what's happening with each individual. I can say what my observation, what my view tells me right now. It can't just stop. It can't just stop. Since the beginning that we were born, your heart goes up and down. Your heart pumps the blood. Your lungs, they inhale, they exhale. The stars turn, the earth is turning. It's the constant exchange between up and down, left and right, in and out, day and night. Something that, is, that we are embedded in is that existence and that interplay of two forces. It is night time because we are sitting right now here in, in Otterberg and are localized and are answering from our perspective being here. But let's say the real answer would be it's day and night at the same time. It's based on from which perspective are you talking about. Now the funny part is it has always been like this. But things seem different for us. We think that right now we are alive. Right now this is life. We are alive. Later, hopefully, 50 years later, then comes death. So what is it that we are, let's say, thinking that life and death is something which happens chronologically, one after another. That life and death, both of them, is here right now. In, in the media, every day it happens. People die from one second to another, out of whatever reason. It's unlikely things can fall from the sky right onto you. It's also finished. The point is how we come up with the idea that death would be something that comes way after. Automatically, when some thought like this gets really deep into you, what automatically happens is you appreciate the lifetime right now more and you are more careful about what you do. Those two things automatically start to arise in the moment this thought enters into your flesh and blood. I prefer to not even think in these terms of death comes later, what comes later. I focus on what I can do right now with what has been given to me. This is what matters to me. I think it's not going to happen if you have a person who during the lifetime is used to waste a lot of energy, waste a lot of lifetime. Even if you give him an afterlife, it's going to be the same. Because why else? From where should this switch of mentality suddenly come? So waiting for better times to come, that you change something about you, is not going to happen. It's an illusion you might think you're putting yourself into. You want to bring out something good, something, the better version about yourself, it's not going to happen in the next life. <laughs> what you do right now, this is what you take to whatever going to come afterwards. This is now really also the reason why there are existing so-called Qigong methods, energy cultivation methods, aiming in exactly that. If you are smoking a lot, if you are taking a lot of drugs, if you are taking uh, a lot of intoxicants, and then right now you start to have a child, your child gets part of this information that you have embedded first of all into your body. At the same time, if you are educating, training your body, your mind in such a way and fill your body up with information, let's, let's say 
positive information and then you pass it on. Also this type of information goes to your, uh, goes to your child. So the better you are developing yourself, the more easy it is going to become for your child to go on because he has already something that you, let's say, um, worked for, yeah? that you developed already. So everything that you are attaining, I think it is not getting lost afterwards. It's not getting lost. You can build up upon it. For me, this means, for example, how can it be? Sometimes child are born nowadays and you realize they have a super, a super high, let's say, resonance with music. How come that they just saw the instrument the first few times and then and then they already like it's strange it's too good that it's the first time well because it probably is not the first time and now just for the question that you that some people might be thinking so what you're saying is that from generation to generation there is something being passed on of course it's like this it's just what we know is our DNA, our genes, they definitely have some type of information being passed on in relation to our skin color, in relation to the shape of our face, the shape of our nose. Because you and me, we have never met our grand, 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 grandfathers. But if you would see a picture of him, you would recognize there is something similar between you and him. So five, six, seven generations and still something is passed on physically wise. Yeah, and I think it's not just physically wise. I also think something is passed on when it comes to spiritually wise. So if you develop yourself in a certain spiritual way in this lifetime already, I think it has some effect for future generations. And this is like the whole idea why, for me personally, I do this type of practices because I think if you want to travel far, like a spaceship, you need a lot of fuel one day. You need a lot of energy one day. And the more full you are, the more energized you are, the more far you can travel. So I don't know where and what's going to come after, after life. I just make sure right now that I do my practices and that whatever comes, I need to be ready. I don't know what's going to come. Thank you for watching the Mulligan Brothers. We have a sale on at mulliganbrothers.com. Use code 2024 to get buy one, get one free on the success journal, the not a journal. The success journal that actually gets stuff done, you reaffirm your goals every single day, your weekly, monthly, daily goals, life goals, you reaffirm them every single day, and then you get a task list, you break that down, and you get stuff done. No Fluff is a dateless journal that you can use every single day, and it's buy one, get one free. And the Memento Mori posters, posters that remind you you're gonna die. That's my life right there. Every single time I fill one of those squares in, I'm reminded that I might not get to fill in the next. It's a powerful tool that will change your life. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification button, and I'll see you in the next one.